Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Your time's important to me as always. And what we're going to do in today's time is we're going to talk fishing line, but not fishing line like we've got in all these other videos out there. And I'm not knocking, but there's a thousand videos out there for fluorocarbon versus monofilament versus braid, etc. We're going to talk pound test of line and why you should be using a lighter line. Stick with me. I think you're going to find it interesting. So guys, let's jump into the meat and potatoes on this. Why use a lighter pound test line? Well, right out of the gate, I think for two reasons, and this has been my experience over the years. Number one, I think everybody knows lighter line is going to be less visible. But number two, I honestly believe that it lets that bait, whatever you're throwing, whether it be a crank bait, a chatter bait, a spinner bait, it's going to have a little bit freer action because it's not bogged down by that thicker diameter line. And I, I also, I honestly believe a lot of times it creates a different cadence. Um, with that bait and I truly believe that if you're using a lighter pound test line no matter what application you're fishing for as light as you can go uh, that you're going to get more bites than the guy next to you and I, I found this to be true whether it's you know freshwater fishing which I primarily do or even when we go down the coast for a couple weeks and we surf fish every day I found it to be true down there in salt water as well I always go as low as I can go when I say low I like to use 8 10 12 pound tests and this is with them whether it's a spinning outfit or a bait casting outfit of all the, the rigs you see behind me, there's about 20 there, and I've got a bunch more on the other side of the room here that are rigged up. There are probably, uh, there are only two outfits that have, one has 17 pound test, one has 20. I rarely use those. Some heavy flipping applications maybe, but I mean, I, I throw 10 and 12 pound test um, into standing timber, into lay downs, into thick weeds, you name it. Um, like take for example, this, this video clip here. This is a this is a big big bass, seven pound bass. This is twelve pound test that is on this uh, bait casting outfit with a chatter bait on here, and that's what I normally throw a chatter bait on. 10, 12 pound test and standing timber in this case, and I'm able to horse those fish out. I think it is learning how to play those fish on lighter line that I, and I honestly believe, and I've just seen it play out so many times, whether it's in a tournament setting or just recreational fishing, that using that lighter pound test and it takes some getting used to if you're used to throwing heavy line you know 17 20 25 pound line um, i mean i throw this on a, if i'm flipping a jig uh, i may move up to 14 pound test um, or fishing creature baits over rocks or, or chunk rock or something like that like 14 is usually about as high as i go uh, from a 14 12 pound test and then if i've got any kind of open water at all, I'm throwing eight to 12 pound test. This is with a bait caster or spinning outfit. And I honestly believe it, it, it helps me get more bites. Now, are you gonna break some fish off? Yep, you probably will. Uh, Cause I break some fish off every once in a while. But I think that you're honestly gonna get hooked up two to three times what another guy who's say throwing 20 or 25 pound test on that spinner bait. And you're throwing 10 pound test on that spinner bait. I think you're going to get more bites and you're going to get more fish, even if you're breaking a few off here and there. Um, that's just my opinion, but I've, I've really seen this play out over the years and I'm just a big proponent of using that lighter pound test line. And the, the line I like to use, and I have no affiliation with these companies, I've just found that they, they work really well for me over the years is P-Line. I love P-Line CX. Uh, this is a uh, copolymer, bra or copolymer uh, finish on here um, that it's fluorocarbon coated is what it is. It's monofilament that's fluorocarbon coated. Love P-Line. And then I love uh, the um, Sunline, the FC Sniper, the Super Sniper. This is 14 pound test here, but I really, really like their fluorocarbon line. A lot of great companies out there. So whatever line you have confidence in, I'm a big believer that that you know fishing is about 90% mental. I mean, you gotta you gotta have your head in the game. You got your head in the game. You got confidence. You're gonna catch fish. Same with this line. You've got to have you know line that you're confident in. So whatever it, you know brand works for you. That's what works for you, but uh, I would just urge you to try and use some lighter line um, this up, up, upcoming season because, you know, we're getting in time of year now, start to rig up, get everything ready uh, for the spring here, and I would encourage you maybe to, you know, if you're thinking about these outfits, you usually use 17, 20, 25 pound test on, put some lighter line on there and see how you do this season as far as your catch ratio goes because I'm going to bet that it goes up for you uh, without a doubt. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video today, got something out of it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to check out the description down below. I've got some product discount links for you guys too. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch this video. Once again, 
Thanks. Catch you on the next one. And don't forget, get out there and fish.